for listening to tonight's show. You can connect with Take Two Radio on Twitter at Take Two Radio and at Dawn Take Two Radio. You can also look us up on Facebook at Take Two Radio. Check out our website at TakeTwoRadio.com and follow us on Blog Talk so you can stay up to the minute of each episode as we add it. Each episode is always available for download immediately following each broadcast. And you can also download every podcast on iTunes. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Take Two Radio. I'm Pam, your host, and tonight I have with me, or today, this afternoon, I never know what to say on the weekend because we do it early, <laughs> I have uh, I have Dawn, my co-host, of course. <laughs> well, I would say when you say good evening, that's correct, because it is, evening is upon us, and in the South, we refer to the five of getting off work here, evening, so I think you Yeah, I guess so. Later. Yeah, just that, so, you know, some places it's still afternoon, so. <laughs> yeah, well, that way they know we're an East Coast and Midwest show, so, you know, <laughs> um, I guess that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> I hope you're uh, feeling a little better today. You sound a little bit better. A little bit. I mean, I can breathe and and talk, but, yeah, it's still, it's going to take a while. This flu cold bug that strain that's going around is really bad and mm. takes a lot of people a long time to get over it. So, yeah, it's got to take it day well, by day. That's all you can do, and at least you sound better than you did uh, this time last week. So I'm thankful that it seems like you're turning the corner in the right direction at least. <laughs> Let's hope so, so. Oh, gosh. So, so um you go ahead. No, it's all right. I was going to say tonight our, our special guest is going to be Ellie Venn. We're waiting for her to call in. And in the meantime, who wants to have a snowball fight? I have snow in Chicago. <laughs> uh, is that so? I wish we had it. Do you know uh, they said on the weather here that there was a 30% chance of rain, uh, not rain, but snow tonight because of the temperatures are going to drop. And it's like, what? You know, I mean, we've had that word come up in the forecast more this year than in any other, in several winters now. So it's kind of weird to hear it, you know, just on the beach, mm-hmm. you know, off the cuff. Um, it's not unusual for you to get it, you know, but for us here in the Carolinas, it's, it's kind of weird, you know, especially when just a couple of days ago we had like nearly 70 degrees outside. It was kind of, it was actually very nice. But on an up note, for all the people who are having horrible winter weather, like yourself, Pam, the groundhog did not see a shadow today, so that means it's going to be an early spring, supposedly. If oh, I didn't even think it. about it. He didn't see his shadow. No, that's what the big news story of the day is. Apparently, oh, the groundhog yay. did not see his shadow. <laughs> that means spring is going to come six weeks earlier. I guess is what they say. Which I think um, that would be a good thing, considering. The couple of warm days that we had this week, I had buttercups that came up through the ground and were starting to bloom. I was like, no, go back down, go back down. <laughs> you know, because once they bloom, it's going to be over with. So, you know, there won't be any any way to recoup that until next year. Um, so, yeah, and they're just, today they're looking really puny because we've had, it was 18 degrees last night. So, you know, there's no chance of survival there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think oh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was last year that we started having the warm weather early too, and our trees and that started to bloom. Everything got confused, you know. I think that's it was last year, but um, they don't know. <laughs> They don't know that it's going to be uh, 18 below the next day, you know. <laughs> mm, that's true. That is so true. They, they're they the last of them, I'm afraid. You always wonder Indeed. if that, you know, is going to affect the fruits and things like that and the vegetables. I know, most definitely. And, and it does because I'm always, you know, I, it, in the south here, the way the, the, the things go is that if we have a really – really bad winter, it's kind of indicative that we're going to have a really hot summer, and vice versa, if we have a really hot summer, it's going to be a really rough winter, and, you know, those things kind of go hand in hand, and so this year, I don't know what to tell you on that, because we've had some mild days, we've had some cold days, um, I just hope we don't get, like, hot as the blazes kind of summer like we normally have with all the high humidity, because it's almost unbearable, really, <laughs> quite unbearable. So, <laughs> well, we might we have, have our yeah. yeah, we might have our guest. 
Yay! Hello, Ellie. How are, yes, how are you? Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are we you? We were just chit-chatting about the weather until you came <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you know, I'm over in Kentucky, and the weather's like about zero degrees. Oh. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> well, like I'm in seven Chicago, or something so, like that. yeah. Oh, okay. So you're in the same boat. <laughs> yeah. So you're in the same boat. Well, I'm sorry. Let me just walk into my house. Oh, that's okay. Foxy Brown, and she's very, very aggressive. No, I'm kidding. She oh. actually has her nails. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just don't let my dog hear her because then right. she'll start barking. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Good thing I don't use speakerphone for this because she'd be right. all over that. <laughs> and then you guys, would just, we just have to quit talking and let them have a conversation right now. I know, here. right? Exactly. <laughs> so how's your weekend going? Oh, it's going great. I actually just went to go see a tango. And oh, really? it was great. It was yeah, it was really interesting. It was a, a, an orchestra, a small, you know, small, uh, a smaller version of, and with you know, dancing and singing. It was you know, it was pretty. You know, I left there going la 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 la. You know that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did it make you uh, want to go take some lessons for dancing? Kind of. It made me realize that um, that I might be a little, you know. Clumsy, but um, but it might yeah. work out for me. somebody were to drag me <laughs> across the floor dramatically. <laughs> so. Well, I would imagine being musical, though you you know do do your dancing, so you can't be too clumsy. No, you haven't no, fallen off any joking. stages or anything, have you? No, no, no. So far, so good. <laughs> good. Keep it that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So well, let's let our listeners know about you. Tell us how you got started in music, and we'll okay, go from well, there. Okay, um, well, I, uh, I did music when as, as a child, but then I um, went through sort of a, uh, oh, there goes a my. lack. Uh, Sorry. It's okay. A, um, a marriage and a divorce, and I was moved into apartment 1111. And... I just was so excited. I got out of that by this, you know, just just got out of it. Just, you oh, know, my crazy. gosh. It wasn't too torturous. So it was apartment 1111, and it was just like, you know, just new beginnings and sort of a pledge that I was not going to allow myself to be with people who didn't let me be my best self and what right. did it mean to be my best self and what did it mean to, you know, what did I really think were my collective talents. And um, and while I love singing, I I like the you know the entirety of the production experience. That's what really floats my boat. Um, I love to sing, of course, but it's just it's really it's one of the elements of putting together a you know a just the you know the, the project and you know and trying to. I mean, I, I guess as I say that, I think I actually don't really. Uh, work in a marketing way that way because I can't be like, oh, let me be happy all the time, let me be hip-hop all the time, let me Mm -hmm. be, you know, dramatic all the time. I really chose to just sort of like what you just, you know, it's just I can pretty much with music you can, there's not really any rules. And if it's likable and you think that it's going to communicate to your audience, I think it's less important uh, to be thinking about like whether or not you use like a hip hopper in one thing, or maybe you have a right. maybe one song's in Spanish, or it's not really great for people who are marketing. But over a period of time, I think that it's actually worked in my benefit because it does allow me to sort of show a range. And because songwriting and all that is really where the passion is, you know, it, it makes me feel like my career can go on before even beyond even performing days because I own my music and I write my music and, you know, and I believe in my music. So um, I don't know if I went, you know, too around in circles there, but. No, um, <laughs> no well, I mean, you just, you didn't squeeze yourself into one box that, you know, you're, okay. you're all over the place as far as being, making a lot of different genres happy with your music. Yeah. And then also having control of your music on what you want to do and where you want to market it and exactly. and how you want to write it and things like that. Yeah. That's a good thing. 
Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> I'm glad you think so. I think so. I think so in the end because I think that it's actually, I think that's one thing that drives me a little bit crazy about popular music is that nobody, you know, you know, I think that, you know, once you've been around the block, once you realize that everybody has good days and bad days and, you know, nobody's always, you know, sugar, you know, sugar and spice. Sometimes people mm-hmm. get, you know, upset or, or feel wronged or, and so I feel like my the content of my music does definitely show, you know, a, a decent range of that. You know, exactly. and I'm glad that I don't like sound like, you know, like happy ballad girl every song. Yeah. <laughs> I don't sound like totally hostile in every song. You know, there's a right. Right. Well, you know, you're signed to Hot Sauce Records and it sounds like that despite that you are, you know, that's kind of a good thing because you are still allowed to be as creative as you want to be um, with your yes. music. And that's, yes. that's awesome because you don't often find that. And I agree with you. Um, you know, I've followed music for quite a while and I support a lot of indie artists. And, um, and you know, honestly, I love the fact that, you know, in this genre, there there is so much ability to be as creative as, as much yes. as you want to be. You're not boxed in and you're not given the set of guidelines that you have to follow for the sake of, um, you know, make it a record for a company that's kind of put you under all these restrictions. And so Correct. it's really, I, I think that you get a much better product when you're not boxed in because yeah. you really are, you're allowed to be able to show a listener what you can do. You know, it, it's the epitome of your talents are being showcased. Well, and also it's just sort of, you know, like when you when you start to stretch or you go in a different thing, it's generally a sincere exploration of something that, you know, you're inspired by or, and I think if you're a writer, you know, that's very, you know, like, for instance, there's going to be some sort of, you know, I'll probably put some sort of tango guitar, like, you know, a Spanish guitar feeling in some next song, because it's just awesome. It's beautiful. The melodies that go in different, you know, there's tons of melodies. You've got the melodies of the drums. You have the melodies of the guitars. It's just, you know, it's just super rich. And, mm-hmm. you know, and there's a way to put it. I think you could put a hip-hop beat underneath that. I think you could. I think you could put a hip-hop beat, and then you can have another sort of drum come on it, and then, you know, and then it will sound more modern, you know, trying something like that and see what happens. Maybe it will hit, or maybe it will stick, maybe it won't. Yeah, and you know, when I was listening to your music on Reverb Nation, um, each time I clicked to play a song, I wasn't sure what I was going to get, you know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) But it was the anticipation of the surprise that made you want to keep clicking the buttons to see, oh, what's she going to do next, you know? Awesome. What type of music is it going to be? And, And I enjoyed all of the music, but it was all different from each other. And I did hear some as hip hop. I heard a song that was more like hmm, get your girl or get your guy and have a romantic Saturday night kind of thing in the bedroom mm-hmm. with your wine, mm-hmm. you know, type right, music right. and that <laughs> and dance music. So, um I like that you can, you're able to do that. And I think a lot of people do too. Thank also, you. you're welcome. Also you're Music, too, can fit, I know another goal of yours is, you know, having it licensed out to commercials or games or things like that. So with it being so, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Um, Different in, in different areas, different genres, it'll fit in a lot of different things like that. Mm hmm mm hmm Thanks. I hope so. I really, um, my my secret fantasy is getting to the Oscars and the Grammys in the same year. It might be a little bit over the top, but that's the fantasy vision. <laughs> <laughs> and and if, if you didn't have that goal, I'd be worried about you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, the voice is a reason. <laughs>